everybody. I hope everyone's doing good. I have such good news today. I made a note list of things to talk about, so I'm not just going to be ram rambling like crazy this whole time. Um, this video is going to be how my life has changed with losing 50 pounds. Um, also, I want to say my next video is going to be all your questions answered. Everyone from the beginning of time, I'm going to answer them because I'm having a hard time getting back to everybody because life, um, my life is crazy. I have derby practice three times a week, one of which being endurance training. So that's like hours of just skating as hard as I can. And it's exhausting and I have two young kids and I go to shoot at the um, bow range uh, once a week or like twice a month. Um, I just, I'm trying to fit in life. Oh, and I'm a part-time bar server, which you guys know that. And so it's hard. I really try to keep up with my channel, but sometimes I fail. So I'm going to answer all your questions next week. And right now I'm recording three videos today. So the first one, let me get started, is how my life has changed with 50 pounds lost. My hair is a disaster, like my life. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay. So the number one thing, n numero uno, is no more hiding. I don't feel like I need to hide anymore. I don't need to hide my arms in long sleeve shirts in the summer. I don't need to hide my neck um, with like scarves. Like I don't need to hide. I can just be me and I can just stop worrying about people looking at my arms and my double chin because it's not there and I know people can focus on who I am now and I can focus on who I am instead of trying to hide. Um, and another way of hiding for me was like super heavy, heavy makeup all the time, um, especially when I went to work. I was always wearing very heavy makeup if you look back at my old videos and it looked good. I'm not saying anything about people who wear heavy makeup and I just, I just don't feel the need for it anymore. Like I feel okay with who I am to where I don't need to do that. Um, now I'll just, I'll do super light. Um, even today I usually won't, I won't do the eyeliner but I'm making YouTube videos, so I am. But like at work, I don't have the wing and I don't spend so much time like heavily contouring my face and doing the wing and getting everything perfect. Like I just don't, I don't feel like I need it anymore because I feel like people can see past. I don't need the mask, you know? Um, another thing that's kind of in that range is I had so much cleavage at work and I still have cleavage, especially in this. Um, this is just, YouTube look, you know, like trying to be the best I can on camera, but like in everyday life, the past two weekends when I went to work, I was wearing like really minimum makeup and also I was not showing my cleavage as much, which like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it just for me, one of the side effects of losing so much weight is I feel like I don't have to. Like I feel more confident in myself and I feel like I don't need to hide behind those things anymore, which is really awesome. Like that, that's a really awesome thing for someone to feel like I don't need to distract people from my belly and all my bad things by just having my boobs like in your face maximum, like as much as I can and a full thing of makeup. Like I just, I'm okay with me now and that is an awesome feeling. Um, I no longer, and let me start by saying nobody has ever made me feel this way at my work. Like, I'm very lucky in that aspect. Everyone just loved me for who I am. And when I posted my before and after picture on Facebook, a lot of people were like, I had no idea that you were even that big because of your personality. You just don't see that. It's just not something you look at. And that's so great. I love that people think that of me. But, you know, when you're really big, or you're bigger, you have so many insecurities that people don't know about. And for me, I felt like people would talk about me and be like, God, she's too big to work here. You know, this is supposed to be for like, I'm not gonna say skinny girls, but like beautiful girls, like bar serving. Like I think of Coyote Ugly and I think of just like gorgeous fit girls. And like if I went to a bar, I wouldn't, and somebody was my size, I would not in any universe be like, God, she is too big for this job. Like, I don't think that way, but when it comes to me, I think that way about myself. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Um, and another thing along with that is like, every weekend before I got ready for work, I'm not kidding you, I would cry. Um, I would be trying to stuff myself in this tiny waist trainer, like as tight as I can get it, and like my pants were like digging into my belly fat roll and it was like plopping over so I'd have to wear really tight waist trainers and like really pop my cleavage up to balance it all. Um, 
and the waist trainers were so uncomfortable and I'd be like profusely sweating every weekend and trying to concentrate through a waist trainer and I was like miserable like I loved my job I still love my job but um, especially getting ready I was just so miserable and so sad every weekend that I had to do that especially all growing up I was super fit <laughs> Like, I always was a little bit chubbier. Like, I really feel like my body does not like to be skinny. And it's it's giving me a really hard time lately getting past a certain weight. Which I'm talking about that in my second video. Um, but I feel okay now with who I am. So that's really, that's really, really awesome. It's an awesome feeling to feel confident and okay with yourself. Like, you may not be like superstar look at me everybody but you're just happy and you feel like nobody's looking at you for your fat rolls and your double chin anymore like like I said in the beginning you're just you you can just be you and not worry about that stuff um, I no longer hear the term you're pretty for a big girl because I know how much you guys probably love that term um, I'm not sad and triggered all the time by something simple like looking in the mirror trying to try on clothes so I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, it's heartbreaking. Before, quote unquote, I hated shopping for clothes. And in reality, I'm a, I'm a girl, I don't hate it. And now that I've lost weight, I love it. Like one of my favorite things to do is go to Goodwill. Because before I'd have to shop in the plus size and most of that stuff was hideous. I'm not kidding. And now like I fit in like regular people sizes. So it's so fun, like everything I look at it fits me or it's really close to fitting me and it makes it so awesome and I love trying it on now. Um, I don't have to crop my body out of my selfies anymore. Like back on Facebook there's probably like a few hundred selfies from the past year that it's just just my face and my boobs. <laughs> um, so that goes along with no more hiding. You don't have to hide yourself. You can just be who you are. Um, When you don't love yourself, it's hard to love others, including your spouse, your husband, even if you've been with them a long time, you're pr pushing that stuff onto them because you're unhappy. Um, so I have more sex now. I'm like, I'm literally like a 10 year old in my head. So saying that is really hard for me, <laughs> but it's on the list. I got to do it. Um, before like my belly flap would like rub against us while having sex and my husband we've been together 10 years he loves me regardless i know that but it's still such a self-confidence thing that i just despised having sex because of how huge i was and if i did i would want to like do it from behind so he didn't have to look at me like and that is sad if you are to that point in your life you have got to change it even if you need fettermine to do it um or some type of help do it because the quality of life I feel like has just gone so downhill and it makes me sad for you because I know how sad I was. I know how sad I was all the time and uh, it was like a vicious cycle. Like you hate yourself for your weight and then you hate everything else. Like I don't know how to explain it. I always appeared really happy and smiley and that's, who, sorry I'm checking the time. Um, that's who I am even if I tried to cover up my sadness but so many things made me sad. And, and going to work every weekend, um, getting ready for work, I hated that that made me so upset. And that was one of the huge things why I wanted to change. Um, and one of the biggest things is not being so lazy with my kids anymore. Like when we're at home, you, I hate to say it, but I usually am lazy. Just because I'm tired from derby practice or this or that. But when we go to the park or the trail, which is something we do very often, two to three times a week, um, especially the trail, like my little one will ride his bike next to me, he's almost four, and I'll skate and I'll have the baby in a, a jogging stroller. And we're not going very fast, don't worry, but um, it's so much fun. And we get to explore all the bugs on the trail and all the dogs and say hi. And before that's not something I'd do, I was too lazy. Um, when we go to the park, I will run around and I'll be a monster and I'll chase them. And it's just so much more fun now and I'm not just like sitting there like, Oh, how much longer till it's over? How much longer? I'm just following them around, you know? Like, I'm just not as lazy, and I love that. Um, my work weekends, because I work like 9 to 10 hours, it's not so hard on me. It's not hard on me at all anymore. So that's another big thing. Like, if your job is hurting you, if you're in pain all the time, like, I just, I really recommend to try to change it. It's a personal journey that you have to be ready for. Um, or you're not going to do it, but I just recommend, like, really just make a list of all the things that, that 
you don't like or that you want to be better. How did I put this? For me, I made a list of all the things that I wanted from my life and why I needed to lose weight to do it. So that helped me. Um, and I hurt. My back hurt every weekend. My feet hurt every weekend after work. And now they don't. So that's really cool. I'm usually in pain from derby, like I said. <laughs> so I traded one thing for the next. But um, it's so worth it. Like if, you, if you're a woman and you want to try roller derby, do it. Go try roller derby. Like I think you'll love it. It changes lives. Uh, that's a huge thing is find something that you love doing for exercise. Because if you're just sitting in front of your TV doing P90X and you hate it, you're probably not going to keep it up. Um, compliments. Everyone compliments me now, which is so awesome because that's one of the reasons you do it. You want the world to see you differently. Uh, you want to feel better and healthier, but you want the world to see you differently. And when people compliment you, it really helps motivate you to keep going. Um, so I think that's all. I get to shop in the juniors. I'm not hiding constantly. I'm just happier. I'm not so sad all the time. There's just so many things. Um, oh, and I no longer worry about diabetes. I was really worried about that because I had gained so much and I feel like I was on the verge of it. And that's scary. In today's age, I don't, I don't want to be taking medicine for the rest of my life. So that's all guys. And my next video is going to be about a plateau, plateau. I feel like that's not how I say it, but anyways, um, and how I'm getting over that, and then a roller derby video, and then next week, your question's answered. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, thanks for being here for me, and following my journey, and still asking me questions, even though I take forever to respond. So, bye guys, have a good day.